Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by some process. In this video, we are going to walk you through, with syncing of additional details from the product meta fields, as well as use of bulk edit feature of our app for fixing warnings and errors regarding missing or invalid product feed attributes. So let's get going with it. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing and press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. Syncing additional details from product meta fields. If you were using any other app in your Shopify store, for storing any additional details in the product meta fields of the Shopify which are accepted as valid product feed attributes, then it can be also synced with our app very easily. Here is a list of product data attributes that can be synced from the product meta fields. Please note, these meta fields fetched from your Shopify store will be applicable at product level and not at variant level. It means the same value will be submitted for all the variants of any particular product. It can be synced using three methods depending on the number of products for which you want to sync meta fields. First option is syncing meta fields for selected group of the products using the sync meta fields option from do edits in bulk. It will prompt you for choosing attributes for syncing values from meta fields. Here are selecting age group, Google product category, gender, pattern, and product condition. Second option is syncing meta field values for individual product from the product details page. Using the sync from Shopify option as shown here. After using this option, we can see that Google product category, material, pattern, condition, age group, and gender values are now fetched and saved for this product. Third option is syncing meta fields for the entire store using the resync meta fields from our app settings page. Here as you can see you just need to press the resync meta fields button and choose options to sync values from Shopify meta fields. Please note, meta field syncing may take some time to sync data from your Shopify store and submit them in the feed as our app needs to fetch meta fields for each product individually. So kindly use each meta field sync option wisely to save the time for feed submission. Also, our app will automatically sync meta fields for any new product when it will be synced with our app for the very first time if meta fields are already associated with the product. After the meta fields are fetched and synced with your respective marketing platforms, it will also refresh the error messages for each product within our app's Manage Product page. Automatic error sync will show the refreshed error messages after 15 to 20 minutes after any new updates or products are pushed to respective marketing platforms. Applying bulk edits for fixing warnings and errors. We can also assign required attributes to address these warnings and errors within a wrap if it is not defined as variant options or stored under product meta fields. We will first filter the products by each warning or error and apply necessary bulk action for assigning required missing attributes. Like here we are filtering products which are showing warnings for missing value age group. After selecting all filtered products, we will need to click on the Do Edits in Bulk feature and choose the Assign Age Group option to apply Adult as Age Group value. And as we can see, there is also a warning for missing value gender. We can also assign gender value for the same set of products. But for this use case, we cannot assign the same gender value for all the products showing this warning. So we will select the particular products using the checkbox available against each product title and then need to apply gender value for particular products. Here we are assigning female as gender value for heel boots and handbag. The silver ring and sport shoes belongs to male. 
so we will assign male as gender values for these two products. And, finally unisex for both smart watches. Once any bulk action is applied within a wrap, product status will be changed the pending which will take about 30 minutes to be submitted to respective sales channels. If you have any queries or concerns, feel free to reach out to us by raising a support request from the app interface using the Get Support widget. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.